What is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be discussing whether or not the Pokemon market is going to keep thriving in 2021 or just completely crash. Let's get straight into it. Now, Pokemon is the highest grossing media franchise of all time with an estimated total value of $100 billion. With that being said, Pokemon is going to continue growing down further into the billions. But at what pace will it continue growing over the next coming years? Well, you cannot really correctly predict the progression of the Pokemon market over the next coming years. But what you can do is always be prepared for either the good or bad scenarios that are about to happen. Now, obviously, we're going to have to see dips in the Pokemon card market, as we have been seeing recently with the base set PS. A9 Charizard cards having a 50% decrease in price. A Charizard will always be a Charizard no matter what price it goes down to. And with that being said, I want to talk specifically about collectors in the Pokemon market. As of recent, over the past few months, the hobby has gained hundreds and thousands of new collectors willing to invest a lot of money into specific Pokemon cards looking at a good return in the near future. Some of these collectors are solely investing into these Pokemon cards just to make profit off of them, while other collectors are investing and buying these Pokemon cards because of their desire to own them. That desire may be because they have a personal connection with that card or maybe they just really love and admire the artwork on that card. Desirability is the most important factor that determines the price of a card. If 990 people out of a thousand want a Holo Lugia card for example, whilst the remaining 10 people want a Holo holographic card, which card do you think is going to be worth more in value? Well, of course that card that more people want as it's going to be harder to get because there's going to be less chance of getting that card as there's more people trying to get it. So what I would say is I do predict prices to de-elevate back down to what they were before because as of right now, most Pokemon cards are at ridiculous price points. We have Pokemon cards that people don't even enjoy and are still investing into those Pokemon cards because of how old and rare those Pokemon cards are. But then what happens if no one goes for them after? What if no one goes for some base set staples such as the Bulbasaur or Charmander from the base set just because of their ridiculous price points? Then the prices will just drop as there won't be anyone wanting to have those cards at that kind the price so it will just lead to people decreasing the price of that card just to get rid of it that's a major reason for why i wouldn't recommend a newcomer to pokemon to start investing huge bucks into the hobby as they won't invest for the art or connection to those cards but instead just focus on its value and that's why the pokemon market is so flooded with ridiculous prices right now as the only thing driving these ridiculous prices are the investors who don't care once the population of these investors gets to a point where there's too many of them selling the same kind of price uh, selling flipping out selling the same cards selling the same kind of cards at the same ridiculous price points then they're going to start decreasing the value of those cards because the population is so high because let's be honest here do we really want to pay thousands for a Bulbasaur on a piece of card you know what I'm saying? The only reason for why the price is so high right now is because of the high amount of people with no prior Pokemon TCG knowledge investing into these cards. And that brings me to my next point of only invest into Pokemon cards that you like. Because at the end of the day, if the prices of those cards do decrease, you won't be as mad because you solely bought those cards for your own pleasure or just to, you know, collect it because you like it rather than investing into those cards and then the price swoops down and you're pissed off because you don't really want the card you just bought it to to you know gain a, a good profit in the near future but because you haven't you're going to sit there wondering why you bought that piece of card because if you are looking to invest into pokemon cards long term you have to be ready for market volatility which means you're going to have to accept big swings in prices in either direction what i would recommend is feeling out the pokemon market at least two months ahead now that means whatever is popular right now is it going to be more popular or is it going to be as popular two months down the line pokemon market is not going anywhere for a very long time so rest assured Pokemon DCG products are great investment pieces. Just make sure you invest into the right pieces. But with that being said, do your own research on whatever cards you want to invest in and good luck. So yeah, that is it from me guys. I hope you learned something new in this video. Um, and if you did, smash the like button below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And as always guys, I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I love you all. Peace out.